Hello and welcome to Oracle Storage Tech Linear Tape File System Library Edition Planning and Installation. In this video, we are going to cover the hardware requirements for a typical LTFS LE installation. These requirements can be found in the Storage Tech Linear Tape File System Library Edition Planning and Installation Guide. A typical LTFS LE installation involves an LTFS LE server a partition on an SL3000 library, an ACSLS server, and a means to connect the drives in the library to your LTFS LE server, in this case a fiber channel switch. In the installation guide there is a planning checklist similar to this that you can fill out for your configuration with all the required pieces that you'll need to install LTFS LE successfully. We have some network information for the LTFS LE server, some partition information on the SL3000 library, some ACSLS configuration information, and we have some fiber channel sand switch information. In the library, there's a couple things you do want to make sure of when you configure your partition. Number one, you want to make sure that the interface is HLI. You want to make sure you have some storage cells, some drive bays, and you want to make sure you have an HLI cap. And here we have, in this particular configuration, we, we do have one each of the three drive types that we support. Oracle Storage Tech T10,000C, minimum firmware of 1.57.308, HP LTO5, minimum firmware I59S, and IBM LTO5, minimum firmware CBX0. Now the ACSLS server the way we have it configured is we do match the ACS to the partition number on the library. Just uh, good, a good best practice is to make sure you match up when you configure ACSLS to match up ACS to the partition you're controlling. Just makes it easy. On the ACSLS server, you also want to make sure that you set the cap priority to a non-zero value. In this case, we're going to set it to five. So I'm going to take you over here to the SL3000 library via the SL console. You can see here that partition 3, we, we do have an HLI partition. We have some storage cells. We have some drive bays. We have a uh, T10,000C, our HP LTO5, and our, and our IBM LTO5. We have an HLI cap, and we have some media. So our library is configured and ready to go. If I go take a look at ACSLS, I'm going to query all the drives. I can see here that I have my three drives that are online and available. Our T10,000C, HP LTO5, IBM LTO5. If I query all the volumes, we have some volumes in here. We have a couple of LTO5 volumes and we have a T10,000C volume. You see here on ACS. ACS3 is what we're is what we're going to use for this LTFS LE install. If I do a query on the cap or cap all, just see what we have. We have cap three is uh, set to a a non-zero value for the priority. In this case, five. So our ACS LS server is configured and ready to go. We go take a look at our fiber channel sand switch zone configuration. We can see here we have a, a zone set up. We've got some ports in the zone. You can see here that we've got some hardware plugged in. We've got our, our server plugged in. Looks like we have a QLogic HBA. We've got uh, a T10,000C, our HP LTO5, and our, and our IBM LTO5. The zone is active, ready to go, ready for an install. So at this point, all of our hardware is configured and ready for an LTFS LE installation. 